Okay, we got a laptop here that someone spilled coke on. And uh, I've got a lot of this loose here. We'll show you that uh, I've been using Q-tip. And uh, let's turn this so I can see it. I've been using a Q-tip here and uh, doing some cleaning. So <clears throat> get you one of these, a little colander. I'll show you why in a minute, okay? When you get these keys right here, it's real hard to get inside here. And I like to take a curved needle, curved sewing needle, okay? And you can use these for actually, uh, let's see if I can get right here. Like these little buttons here, sometimes it's, you know, these pieces here come apart real easy. And it's not that bad to put back together as long as you don't break it. But if you get you a curved needle, <clears throat> sometimes you can get up inside here and pop it loose. Okay, and then reach under here, pop this one loose without actually distorting the piece. Now you see it's all gummy. See it's staying up. Can you see that? Let me adjust it a little bit for you. Oh, too far. Okay, so it's a little gummy. And you can see this piece here. See the, the coat built up in there? Well now, inside these little grooves is that coat too. You notice that way up inside these cracks, right there, it's impossible to get out. Now, I'll show you a trick. See that? I didn't scrub it one bit. I just run that under the hot water. The reason I use a colander is so that you don't drop it and it goes down the drain. <laughs> I haven't done it, but I, you know, I was like, whoa, I better not do that. So anyway, nice and clean. You can use a pocket screwdriver or a curved needle and you can get up under the switch. I mean, the key. Some people will just pull on them, but I've broken the tabs off doing that. Alright, I got that side up, so then I can switch to my pocket screwdriver and get right up under the back side in a little twist, and it comes right off. Clip that loose. Now this comes out, and it rotates, and it'll come apart. See, whoops, wrong way. Try to do a little zoom here. If you note the way these come apart, they're real easy. Take it apart, put it in your colander, go over to the sink, run a lot of hot water over it dry it off you can blow it off you can use a hairdryer or whatever put it back together stick it in it'll be like brand new if you don't use the hot water trick it won't work perfect it's a lot of work involved in doing this but you can do this by yourself you don't have to take it to a computer repair shop here's our our pieces out of the colander and uh, dry it off so now I've got these other pieces to look at for reference. So bear with me here. I'm going to back the camera up a little bit and put this together. So I see the way these clips are. These are like that. So I got my two holes at the top. That's where the key clips in. 
and right here where it clips in. So I'm going to hold this this way. I'm going to put this. Okay, the this little line right here. This is what clips into this bottom piece. So this has to go this way. This has to go this way. So I'm going to put it through there. I got big old fat stumpy fingers, so it's kind of hard to do. But this will go in that line there. And get my little needle, because this helps. On this last part, whenever I'm clipping this in. There we go. And that is assembled. Okay, now, we should be able to come in here, rotate this. There we go. See that? It takes a minute to get it in place. This is dry. This is after alcohol cleaning. See it drops a little slow. It's a get by. You see how that works? That's what happens after you clean it with water, with hot water. So if you're in a hurry, you can do it with the alcohol swab. But if you want to do it completely right and have everything just perfect like it was originally, then you're going to want to disassemble all of these. See how slow that is? You want to disassemble them, hot water them, put them back in, then you'll be good to go. Okay, I got all the switches, the, the little hinges removed. Because I like soaking them. I'll show you where they're at now. This is where I've got it now. Hot water. That's probably already ready to go back on. But I've stirred these around. Normally you can take these and just hold them under the hot water. And that would be enough. But I'm getting ready to go shopping, so just put it in the hot water and let it soak all day. And come back and snap them all together and you're done. Okay, I done went through every one of these. I just and reassembled them and reinstalled them. So all of these have been soaked in hot water. They're working perfect. So now we got to snap our button back on. So we should be able to line that up dead center. There you go. Now put the rest of the buttons on there and this thing will be done. Okay, there you go. Did not have to take it to a computer shop. I don't know what they charge to do that, but if you want to do it on your own, you should be able to handle it. Everything works perfect. I mean, the little Q-tip and alcohol works great, but if you'll take the time and take it apart and soak it in hot water, it works perfect. So, like it's brand new. Don't put drinks next to your laptop, people, or you'll be doing this. Bye-bye.